Welcome to another Bala Song video. Today we're going to be doing a review on a new Bally I got, the Toa Zeus V2, which I got from Shops Away. And we're going to talk about them a little bit later. Super cool company. Um, but Toa is a small company out of China. It, it might just be one guy, I'm really not sure. But they've had a couple different bow songs. Um, obviously, this is the version 2 of the Zeus, so there's the V1. They had a bow song called the Poseidon that came out a couple years back. That It was a little bit of a replicant knockoff, you know, G10 sandwich design, but it, it was lighter than a rep, and I remember thinking, like, damn, I, wanna, I really wanted to try that one. But they also just released a titanium sandwich bow song called the Hades looks like they're sold out on shops away but I know you can you can find them on Instagram I'm sure other people are carrying them right now but the Zeus is Toa's budget bow song an economy bow song if you will seems like it's in that Kraken competitor space it's got the 7075 aluminum handles the blade material is 9CR18 which I'm not really the guy to ask about blade metal I, I really don't care about that sort of thing but I did google it and knife makers were saying that it's a good alternative to D2 steel and some of them seem to actually prefer the 9CR so you've got that going on the weight of the bow song is 3.5 ounces which is actually like super lightweight it's lighter than a Nautilus the original Prisma is like 3.75 or 3.8 ounces I think so it's a little bit lighter than that, which I've come to really like that. Um, it definitely helps when you're learning techier tricks, and this bow song seems to really excel in that area. One thing to note that the blade does have a false edge. It's not sharp. It's not really sharp at all. The point, the point is actually hella sharp, so just keep that in mind. If you do want it sharpened, you can do it yourself. It seems like it wouldn't be that hard. And if you buy from Shop Soleil, Paul will actually sharpen it for you for an extra $30, which I think is really awesome. The bell song comes with a little case. If you buy from Shop Soleil, uh, you'll get some stickers, it looks like. And I'm gonna put those on, on my big case. I just wanna have them out for the video. And then you can see I'm filming this with my phone, so it's it's not the best quality, but hey, you know I'm, tr I'm trying my best here. So now let's get to the part that you're probably here for, and that's how does this battle song flip? Which I can answer for you. I've been flipping it for about a month now, and I did have a little bit of an issue when I first got it, but we'll talk about that in a little bit. We'll talk about what it's good at and what's not so good at. So the Zeus V2 is slightly handle biased. I mean, it's damn near neutral, but there's a slight handle bias. I'm gonna play this video here where you can see on the fan, it's kind of like, you, you can see the handle dip down a little bit, but overall it fans incredibly well. I mean, besides the lightweight, uh, which makes it good for like, techier tricks and ladders and that sort of thing the bow song weight distribution allows it to fan really easily and really effortlessly which i really enjoy on the side of the handles there are these little drill outs which is almost like a faux speed channel now it doesn't really do much for grip although i'm sure it does it's probably there for a reason probably to help with weight distribution one little nitpick, there's a solid area up by the pivots, which it makes it seem like there's more weight by the pivots opposed to being at the end of the handles, which I'm not a huge fan of. Now it's it's not as like pivot heavy as say the Volt, but it is noticeable. And I definitely prefer weight, more weight towards the end of the handles that aid in you know, rollovers, that sort of thing. So the bell song, the sound of it, it sounds really good. I kind of expected it to sound maybe not as full given how lightweight it is, but it's got that 
70, 75 bonk to it. It sounds really good. And I actually bought some carbon honey. I know I was kind of like talking smack or whatever. Um, one thing I'll say, dude, that stuff makes, it'll make any bell song sound amazing. Like, it's incredible. And here's a little sound test clip for you guys. All right, and I've got this long video, this like freestyle clip, whatever you want to call it. And I'm just going to let this play while I talk about the negative aspects of a spell song and like my issue, what happened when I got mine. So when I got the bow song, the bite handle was binding up a little bit. And this seems like it happens with, with like every bow song I get. I don't know what it is, but yeah, I was binding up a little bit, but I'm like, whatever, like, I'm just gonna keep flipping it. And then within minutes, it was like completely bound up to the point where it wasn't even flippable. And so I'm like, okay, whatever. I'm just gonna take this thing apart and we'll figure out what's going on, right? Now, I know a lot of companies will lock tight their ballets before sending it out. And that's the issue I was having because I couldn't get the pivot off with the screwdriver. You know, I've got a nice screwdriver, uh, stuck a soldering iron on there, still wouldn't budge. And I basically like almost stripped one of the pivots. So now I'm afraid to even touch the other side. So I was kind of irritated at that point. Um, and I decided to send shops away a message and say like, hey, like this is what's going on. You think you guys can help me out here? And then the next day, Paul actually gave me a call, which was super cool of him. And I'm talking to him, let him know what was happening. He's like, oh, have you tried this? Have you tried jiggling the handles? And I'm like, yeah, it's, I'm just, at this point, I'm a, I don't wanna ruin the knife, right? So he's like, okay, well, I can send you another one, but I, I, so I got the, the one with the texture on it. It's got that like squiggle spiral texture. And that was the only one that he had with the texture. So it's like, I can send you a regular one. And I'm thinking, damn, like, I really like the texture though. Um, and then Paul says, well, have you tried putting it in boiling water? And I said, oh, you, you know, I didn't think of that. That's a really good idea. So, you know, let me go ahead. Let me give this a try and then I'll let you know how it goes. So I get the water boiling, right? And stick stick the bow song in just so the, the pivots are covered. And I let it sit there for a minute. I take it out, try to undo the pivot. It won't go. So now I, I stick it back in the boiling water for two minutes pull it out try to take the pivot out it won't go so now I got sitting in there for another two three minutes I take it out and I don't know what kind of super Chinese super goo they put on this thing but dude the pivot would not budge so I'm like dang dude uh, I'm thinking about it. I'm like all right let me ch just try this so I start wiggling the handles and I can feel it loosening it up. So I just wiggle it some more. And then next thing I know, it, it was flippable. Now it was dry as a bone, but at least it was flipping. So I think what had happened, some there must've been some sort of like, something got in there that was causing it to bind up. And just to be clear, I don't think it's anyone's fault. I don't think it's Toa's fault. Um, there's probably just some like gunk that got caught up in there that was causing the handle to bind up so I've been flipping it quite a bit ever since then and I haven't had any issues I forgot to do uh, like the tap test or whatever but let me see I can probably film something and stick it in there and 
yeah I haven't even touched the pivots at all since then and it's it's got no tap very little play but yeah that's definitely uh, being on T8 hardware I would consider you know a negative a con but I'm gonna try to see if I can figure out what the dimensions are and then you know maybe put it on T10s one day I mean it, what's in there now is working so I'll probably just keep those in there for now but at some point I'd like to get different hardware and I know I'd asked Paul about it and he didn't have any extra hardware so I mean that's gonna be that's something that we'll have to figure out but overall I'm really happy with this purchase I mean I've got a bunch of different bow songs and I've been flipping this this is one of the ones I flipped the most for the past month and I'd say if you're into lighter lighter weight bow songs that are you know close to neutral this would be a good thing to add to the collection and they look super cool the blade design is super cool I think the handles are a little bit busy but I don't really mind that and yeah that's gonna be the end of this video I want to do this review because when I before I bought this I was looking on YouTube to see if anyone else had you know bought it or posting any videos and I didn't really see anything which I thought was strange so I'm like you know what I'll just do my own review put it out there and big shout out to Paul from Shop Soleil uh, dude's a legend you can tell he really cares about the community and he's a, he's a maker himself so you know if you ever there's a bow song up on there that you want to get you can buy it from Shop Soleil and feel good knowing that you know he'll take care of you and give you a good customer service if you made it this far you a real one you a real battle song player leave a comment that says battle song player and i appreciate you peace